Welcome to Bali and welcome to Bella Ja, our boutique hotel here that we built together with our friends Raquel Miguel. We started this in 2020 and this is the first time you're seeing everything. We're really excited. This was actually our first project that we've built in Bali and it was a pretty <laughs> up and down journey. We are so grateful and happy with how it turned out. We have eight suites, we have a communal pool for everybody, we have a big communal space for people for dining, we have sunken seating, a kitchen, an upstairs library and also an upstairs jacuzzi. We're really happy with how it all turned out. Our dreams were able to come to life and we would love to show you what it all looks like. Let's go. Welcome to our community area. Once you enter the boutique hotel, you're right into it. Uh, we love this space so much. When we were first thinking about how this could look like for running retreats, but also having an amazing time as a guest in Bali, uh, we wanted something that's very open. And I need to give credits here to Jake because he managed the entire project of Bella Jar. Um, I love how it's turned out. We originally uh, wanted to have um, just one um, story story and now it's turned out we uh, we went over to which makes it so much more open we're going to show you upstairs in a moment but I love this big customized table really really so much because it gives the opportunity for everyone to get to know each other if they want and um, they can hang out here they can play games together work together um, uh, chat together about what they want to do in Bali but also have meals together which is really great we do offer breakfast here in the morning so they get a bit of local food and coffee and tea and so on so they can enjoy that either outside at the pool or here in the communal area and what we were really aiming for was a tropical vibe here but also a clean space yeah. so the curtains and the whiteness and the openness make it feel really clean and airy but with all of the limestone and the plants around and the timber um, features it also feels quite tropical and like Marie said this high ceiling with these pendants coming down is kind of what makes this area and what we love so much about it. Welcome to our open kitchen area. When we were thinking about how to design the kitchen, we wanted to have something that is connected to the communal area, to the people. So in the morning, you can also enjoy your coffee here. You have the option to do your coffee yourself, but also our staff helps. Everyone is able to use the fridge. Um, we have a little microwave, sparkling water, all these things you need. Um, we don't offer lunches or dinners because there's so many amazing cafes around and we think that part of experiencing Bali is going and exploring and seeing the places. But we wanted something where people can still feel like they are together with friends in their own home and they can use a little kitchen. And what we love here as well is the different textures. We went with like a big marble island space with limestone underneath just to give a different texture. And these stools are from one of our favorite brands, a really tropical boho brand called Unique with furniture um, and yeah this is it this space here is probably my favorite space I think it's really relaxing we have really big cushions in this sunken seating area we have a beautiful backdrop when our guests come and stay here a lot of people are taking photos of this spot you've got the steps in the background as well which give these really cool leading lines and a beautiful table in the middle it's just a really relaxing spot for all of our guests to hang out together, read, work a little bit, meditate or anything like that. Also, we have this net above, which gives it a, a really unique feeling, which we're gonna show you in a second. This upstairs area was a late change that we made in our design process. It was actually Marie's and Raquel's idea to, to give this space something extra because the ceiling felt quite low in the beginning so about halfway through the build process we went to our builders and we said we want to lift this ceiling and make it two-story that way we could put a net in here we could really open up the space we could put these beautiful rattan pendants up here and also have a library so all of our guests that are staying out in the suites they have so many little nooks where they can hang out take photos relax and just enjoy the space. This place here is actually one of my favorite spots in Bella Ja. It's the rooftop pool overlooking the community area and the pool underneath. It's an incredible hangout spot, but also really amazing to create photos. We have a glass door that also closes at night, so it doesn't get hot inside. But yeah, it's one of my favorite spots. I hope you get to hang out here once too.
So the next place that I'm going to show you was actually Jake's idea. He wanted to have something really cozy where you could get away from everyone. A little library and it turned out really cute. So come on in. We have some beautiful furniture that we found from around Bali. This is all actually sourced in Bali and it's really a nice area to kind of feel cozy, do a little bit of work, a little bit of reading. We have uh, four stools here as well because this space is we want people to come here whether they are just here for a holiday or whether they want to work as well. So here we have plugs underneath the desk so that people can work. They can look down onto the rest of the communal area and have a, a really productive space to, to get what they need done. We also have a bookshelf over here uh, just for some light reading for people to learn a bit about Bali while they're here. And yeah, like Marie said, this is, this is one of our spaces that we included right in the end and we're really happy with it. We love how the furniture matches together as well. So welcome to our big outdoor communal area. This area here is the main focus of our property here. We really wanted to get that tropical feeling when you're in Bali where you feel like you're relaxed, you're maybe at the beach. We have palm trees and lots of greenery all around this space. And we also wanted to make sure that this space was big. It didn't feel like you were crowded or cramped in. And that's why our property is actually nine ara, 900 square meters. So we were able to push the suites to the side and create this big area um, out in the middle. So what we've done here is we've created a lot of beautiful curves and shapes in the pool so it feels really organic and it's not like a square fixture right in the middle and then all around the pool we have bean bags we have swings so people can kind of get that content and just hang out and feel like they're in a bit of a peter pan um, wonder world welcome to the pool area here uh, which i love so much uh, like jake already said we have divided the pool in three different areas just to make it look more unique and um, nice to take photos we also love those cushions that we decided on which are also from um, our friends from uniqua um, they're great because they can go in the water or outside of the water so you can sunbathe wherever you want um, we love the idea of having eight suites that look very traditional balinese you have your own privacy but you also can enjoy the community area together and to be very honest it never feels busy here it's a really calm and relaxing vibe um, while being in Changu where there's a lot going on so I love this the most about it the second part of the pool has some highlights. We wanted to add fairy lights, especially for when the sun sets and at night it looks very, very cute. Like Jake already mentioned, Peter Pan vibes. And also Jake decided on having three little um, tables on uh, in the pool. So if you want to enjoy your morning fruit, you can do that in the pool. Plus the third highlight here is our shower, which is at the end of the pool. You can have a shower here and enjoy actually the most amazing view because you look right onto the amazing building of the community area and also the jacuzzi which is overlooking the pool area. I absolutely love it. All right, before we head into our suite for our guest, this is the terrace that each suite has. Each suite has its own swing and its own relaxing bean bag out the front so that you can sit in front of your suite and enjoy the view. Inside, we also have another cushion area here so you can close the doors and you can sit in the aircon and you can read a book and look out to the pool and have a beautiful view. We have a mosquito net here which is actually not really for mosquitoes, it's just for the look. We don't actually get many bugs here which is amazing um, but this just gives a nice airy feel in here. We've got lots of beautiful curtains um, that create nice lines and textures here in the room. We also have put these plants in between so that when you look at your window every time you see that you have a bit of a tropical vibe. At the back of the room here we have a little workspace where our guests can sit, they can work, they can put on their makeup, get ready for going out, they can you know put their electronics or anything here. Underneath the back here we also have a bit of extra storage and then also like a big, a big headrest here where people can, can leave their stuff. A closet with hangers, plenty of space to sort of put their bags and unpack their clothes when our guests come in. And then maybe Han, you can show the bathroom because I think the bathroom is one of the, the best parts about the room. 
I wanted to quickly mention the mirror we have here in the corner in the front because it's perfect to do morning outfit of the day stories for me personally but it's just also a nice vibe to take a photo and yeah just love it also custom made and in every room we also have a humidifier which takes the humidity out of the air and makes it so it's not so moist in the rooms. In Bali, that's really important just to have clean, fresh air in the room and to make sure that you don't end up with mold or anything like that. That's a big tip for everybody. And also every room has, of course, an air conditioning so you can adjust your temperature. Um, I love the mattresses that we chose as well. Come on into the bathroom now. Every suite has a different kind of style in the bathroom. It's just slightly adjusted. But yeah, every suite is exactly built the same way. You've got the bed, you've got everything the same way. And then in the back of the, ba uh, the bathroom, we have custom made Balinese wooden doors, which I love so much. Then we have our sink area with a moon shaped big mirror. I love natural light in the morning when I get ready. We've got um, custom chosen sinks from one of our favorite brands from Australia. And then underneath you have some storage room, actually a lot of storage room to um, get your stuff away if you want to keep it clean and beautiful like I love. And then we have this amazing shower. I love it so much. It reminds me a lot of Bali. We have those wooden panels up top. So you've got, like I said before, the natural light coming in. You've got glass above it. So it's not loud when it's raining. It looks beautiful. You can still see the sunlight. And um, yeah, I love the, the design of the shower so much. When the sun is out, you can also see those beautiful rays coming because of the um, wood panels. Do you want to add anything, Han? I'm not sure what you've covered, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure you covered everything. Yeah, yeah we love the limestone, um, which always is implemented in every single area, whether it's a community area outside or also in the bathrooms. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for touring our place with us. Bella Jar in Indonesian, in Bahasa, actually means learn. And we decided to call Bella Jar Bali learn because we want people to come here to Bali to learn new things, meet new people, learn about the culture and maybe learn something about themselves. We are really excited to host anybody who would love to come here and, and visit us. So if you're from anywhere around the world and you're coming to enjoy Bali, please pop in and give us a visit. We would love to host you.